after two and a half years of political crisis and political paralysis, uh, we cannot take anything for granted. But assuming a new government is sworn in, uh, there's no doubt that it's an uh, end of an era, end of a Netanyahu era. 25 years at the helm of Israeli politics, 12 years consecutively as prime minister. And uh, this uh, uh, creates an opportunity for a change, change in uh, discourse, change in the political climate, change in the, area, in, in, the, uh, in the rhetoric and in the divisive nature of our politics. And I hope this will bring the crisis to an end and put Israeli society and economy on a new trajectory. Well, it's true that this government uh, uh, has a very uh, difficult path ahead of it, a narrow parliamentary majority, a very heterogeneous uh, government, and, uh, and in this respect it will be challenging to keep it together. At the same time, the bar for performance is quite low. It needs to pass a budget to make uh, a reasonable and competent uh, nominations, and uh, this will already be considered a success uh, given a... Uh, uh, the background of the past two and a half years. Uh, in addition, by design, it will have to uh, reach a broad consensus on many issues, and this might restore the confidence of many Israelis in our politics. So I wouldn't uh, uh, rule out uh, uh, the option of a long-serving government, although uh, 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 the odds are not necessarily extremely promising. Well, uh, there's no doubt and no question that once the Knesset decides there will be a peaceful and orderly transfer of, uh, of power, uh, no violence. Uh, whether all uh, uh, symbolic traditions uh, uh, will be complied with, uh, we will uh, see, but I expect uh, it to go very smoothly. And what really matters is whether there will be a majority in parliament uh, for this new government.